Hello and welcome everybody to this uh, tutorial about how to create CNC machine in SOLIDWORKS. Here is Henry Gigan, mechatronic engineer. Tutorial number one. We're going to create the main piece of the, the mechanism, uh, the chassis, which is going to bear all the parts of the machine. So we'll begin by new part begin by sketch we're gonna create our first sketch which is gonna be a rectangle two hundred high and three hundred width Okay, and create the center line, construction line. Okay, uh, and then I'm gonna create small rectangles inside. This one, like this. And I'm gonna take 8 millimeters. 8 millimeters from the other side. Here is going to be 5 millimeters The width is about 30 Ok, we're going to create another rectangle The same as the first And the space between them is about 10 Ok, uh, we're going to need to create another one, but which is going to split by 2, and we're going to use mirror function, 10, and this is going to be 15, ok, we use mirror entities, mirror about is the construction line, and the, all the entity inside I'm gonna copy and don't forget the small ok good we need to trim now the center line here uh, we choose the trim to closest ok we leave only the construction line and you exit the sketch. Now we have our sketch ready. We're gonna go and do the boss extrude 25 millimeters is good. Okay. Now we need to create some uh, holes that are going to hold the other parts. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the first holes that we need to create are in the back here. We use sketch. We're going to need to know over the end of the back is because we're going to draw from this side. So, we choose this segment and we convert into quantities. Okay, and then I'm gonna go normal tool. So the sketch we're gonna go here. And it is gonna be drawn here. So for the holes you're gonna need uh, to draw circles. Okay. Oops. So the diameter is about two point four. All the day, the holes that we're gonna draw in this uh, uh, system assembly is uh, are about two point four. Okay, the distance from the top is two. The distance from the end is about. 
Space between them is ten. The two other halves. Okay, two point four. Two point four everywhere. And the distance between the two lines is 25 yes. 25 okay first four rounds are ready now I'm gonna need to delete this line this exit sketch extruded cut we choose the circles that we have drawn but the holes need to be uh, to end after the second extremity in this way so we extend the cut to 55 ok the first four holes we need the other holes for the screw holder I'm gonna know uh, step by step uh, um, the parts of the assembly and which parts uh, do what job exactly. So we take this face, which we sketch in the floating mirror. Okay. We draw a center line. Always a center line. Hold it. Okay, and then we're gonna draw four holes exactly like uh, in the first case. And this one is about 2.4. Mm -hmm. Space uh, from the top, from the bottom, 21. Another hole, lined. And the space is five. Okay. So uh, if you did not see the uh, line here, we need to have the circles uh, horizontal and in the same line. Like this, so we click on horizontal. And then we need Replace the two holes up to 22 from the center line. Mm -hmm. But uh, the holes are going to be uh, bigger, let's say 5. Okay. And then we are finished. We need to uh, take mirror entities into house. This is which I'm gonna cut. Okay. The cut will uh, not need to be so deep. Choose only 50 is okay. Okay, the last uh, thing that we're going to need to do are two uh, of four holes that are going to hold the two uh, sliding bars. So we go uh, up here in the floating menu, sketch. And we need to convert this face, this uh, inside face, convert it into entities. 
Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, link these signals. You know exactly the center of this square here. And then we draw a circle here about 2.5, 2.4, sorry. Okay. Uh, I need to draw also the center line of the whole part here, as usual. And we're going to create more entities and only the small circle. More about the center line. Okay. Uh, before we leave the sketch, we need to train the signals that helped us to obtain the circle. Okay, we only need construction lines. Okay, and then extrude it cut. But we extrude till the uh, other uh, surface. The other end. Okay. Very good. We have all our holes. All we need to give the small color to the spot. Let's say green. Or dark blue, maybe. Okay. And then we save the part. We're gonna call it chassis. We need to uh, create another folder. Let's see. CNC machine. Okay. And the first part is the chassis. Okay, and we save. We go up to the uh, next part, which are the sliding bars. So we create new parts. We go on sketch, sketch, and select the face plane, and we're gonna go just a circle. The diameter is about 10. Alright, we exit sketch. And we're going to extrude the circle to obtain a cylinder, but the cylinder is a bit uh, longer. It's about uh, 284 millimeters. And we click OK. We obtain a bar. Okay, and then I need to uh, do some holes here to be able to hold this bar, the model. So we go uh, normal. Here we're going to create a circle as usual. And our favorite dimension is 2.4 as usual. Let's see it. and we go extrude it cut. We're gonna cut mm, not too much. Only about ten. Is okay. And we do the same thing uh, to the other. Be careful, the circle needs to be concentric with the cylinder. Okay, extrude it cut. Our sliding bar is uh, ready, it's finished. We need to give it a small color. Shiny color. Shiny guy. Okay, and then we see sliding bar one. One because uh, there is going to be two and three many types of uh, sliding bar inside the model. So uh, thank you everybody for watching and see you uh, 
in the next uh, video. Don't forget to follow. Thank you.